Hey guys, welcome back. We got an air mattress for our Model X so we can camp in our Tesla. So we're pretty excited. We're gonna open it up and show you it to you. After ordering it, I realize it's not strictly a Tesla mattress. It does show a Model X seating arrangement here, but it doesn't say Tesla anywhere on it. It does have some Chinese print here. Car inflatable mattress. We're gonna open it up and show you the mattress inside. So here's the actual mattress. It comes with its own air pump, so you can pump up the mattress. Thing I noticed just off the bat here is it has a cigarette lighter plug. Luckily our Tesla has a cigarette lighter outlet right at the back of the Tesla where the mattress is gonna be. If you've ever camped on an air mattress, you know they lose a little air overnight. So here's our outlet right inside the Tesla. You'll be able to plug in your 12 volt and pump it right up. It comes with some nice pillows. These are inflatable pillows. They're going to be very comfortable to put behind your head once you blow them up. also came with these two pieces here and I thought I would look at the instructions to see how to assemble it. See the instruction sheet that you get there. No English. So I don't know how to put it together but I'm gonna look at the box and that'll give me a little hint. One of these big balloon things here goes between your middle seat. So if you have the bucket seats this would be the Tesla six seat model. We actually have the five seater, which has a fold bench seat across here. So we're gonna fold ours flat and the mattress will just lay on top. But if you have these seats, those have to push all the way forward. That will go between. And then there's this long balloon here that will attach with these clips to the bottom of the mattress. And that will act as a brace to hold the mattress up when you move the seats out of the way. But like I said, we have the five seater, nice and simple. We'll just fold the seat flat and we will only need this part, which is the actual mattress. So it's universal for the five seater, six seater or seven seater. Yeah, we're gonna try it out. So here's a new license plate. We got the custom plate, it says electric. Mason's gonna open up the car and we'll try out the new mattress here. Okay, so we're gonna Fold down this row of seats here. You want to fold them down, Mace? Okay. The other side. Plenty of room for camping. Okay. Okay, let's remove this liner. Okay, so we're figuring out how this works here. There's these little plastic tabs that go in the bottom of the mattress that clip in there. And that's only if you have the six seater. So if you have two bucket seats here, they push all the way forward. So you're gonna have a big gap here in the floor. So this is just a spacer to keep the mattress lifted up. So that would be on the floor and this would be flat, obviously. So if, since we have this five seater with the flat bench seat that folds flat, we don't need this extra support. So that's basically the mattress, just like that. You can push it back a little and then put your pillows up here. And then that other big pillow that we had is just in case you have that middle gap as well, you can put that between the seats. 
So this is basically all we need. This is extra in case we ever get the six seat model in the future. And Mason and I are gonna test it out now. So Mason's about five feet tall. He still has another foot left under his feet here. And then we'll go around to the head and see how much room he has. Okay, so the mat just kind of ends at your shoulders and then you'd have a pillow. Hey, pillow! <laughs> Lost the pillow. There you go. So we'll probably get some real pillows. So do you think there's room for dad in there too? For camping? Okay, so the dad's getting in too. There is a, a low beam here before you get in, but once you slide back, there's plenty of room in here for two people to camp. Okay, yeah. My feet are just just to the edge of the mattress there, but I can scoot up a little bit. Got my nice little pillow here. I think I'll opt for a standard pillow from inside the house if we go camping, but for this purpose. Okay, Mace, close it up. <laughs> so there, there we are. We're all closed in. Nice and cozy. And let's, let's show you the roof here, what you get to look at. What do you think, Mace? Can you sleep in here? Yeah. Okay. I definitely don't feel claustrophobic at all. There's the panoramic windshield up front. We're in northern Michigan right now, and it's snowy and it's cold. I think it's 35 degrees today. Gonna drop down into the 20s at night. If we did want to camp in the vehicle, you need to stay warm, right? So it does have this nice feature on the infotainment screen, which we will show you once we get up and turn around here. <laughs> little tricky moving around i mean a little bit of room okay mace you want to demonstrate okay so you can see up above the roof here what a beautiful view you have up above you and then there's quite a bit of clearance here i'm about five foot ten and i'm sitting up kind of comfortably <laughs> for the time being so if you did have to get up and readjust you do have room to move around a little bit but i mean it's camping right if you if you don't enjoy cramped quarters and such then you probably won't want to camp in your car so mason's going to show you the camping mode on the screen this is going to maintain the temperature all night long so traditionally with a gas engine it would get cold after an hour or two and someone would have to wake up crawl to the front seat turn the car on wait for the heater to warm up blow all the hot air into the cabin of the car wait till it's probably too hot to even stand because you don't want to have to do this again for a while so you would wait till the car warms up and then you would shut it off crawl back in try to fall back to sleep and then an hour or two later it would be cold again you'd have to do it again so with the tesla car here it maintains the temperature whatever you set it at it'll maintain that all night long the cool thing is there's no gas there's no fumes there's no co2 there's nothing to worry about. It's just an electric battery with an electric heater maintaining a temperature. So you don't even have to have it blowing necessarily. A, a real fine uh, air circulation is enough. You don't have to have a loud heater blowing all over. And there's vents all over the car. I see one right down here by the door. There's some down in the floor down here. Uh, there's some right in the center console. So it's definitely gonna stay warm in the car. And we're going to switch over to the infotainment screen and let Mason show you. Okay, so there's our infotainment screen on the dash of the Tesla. Enjoying a sucker there, Mace? <laughs> now at the very bottom, there's different modes. You can have off, on, dog, or camp. So dog is if you had a pet in the car. You can set it to a comfortable temperature. You can crack the windows if you want, but you shouldn't need to because it's gonna maintain whatever temperature you set it at. So see the 81 right in the middle at the bottom there? It's gonna keep it at 81 degrees. So let's go down to like a 75. That'd be a comfortable temperature, I think, if you were camping. So turn it to the camp mode. So it says the car will stay on until their battery reaches 20%. And 
sentry mode is the security system. It says it will not do that while you're camping because it's using battery for the heater so it doesn't want to run out of battery with the, the cameras rolling. So it says car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. So there's our battery. It's probably about 40% I'd say. 153 mile range left and the green is showing how much charge you have. So I'd say it's about 40%. So I don't know how long the heater would go at that temperature, but we are gonna test it out and camp in the car and see how it works out. And later tonight, we can watch Netflix on the screen after dark, we can watch a movie. And then when it's time to roast marshmallows, we have our own built-in fire. So we're gonna have a campfire and we're gonna roast some marshmallows. This does work, folks, so stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how it works. <laughs> how do we get out of here, Mace? Can you let me out? We're going to go inside, get our camping clothes on, and get ready to spend the night in our Tesla Model X with our fancy new air mattress. So come along. We got marshmallows ready. It's going to be a good time. See ya. Where are my shoes, Mace? <laughs> So we're getting ready to camp in our Tesla here. We got everything set up. We just wanted to show you real quick how we're gonna stay warm tonight because the temperature outside currently is 34 degrees and it's supposed to drop into the 20s. So we're gonna stay warm one of two ways, maybe both if we need it. The first step is to get our campfire going. So we will have a campfire here and we'll show you how we do it. So here's our campfire, we're going to turn that on. You can hear the nice crackling fire. So that's going to keep us warm tonight, hopefully. It's blowing warm air out here. We did bring some marshmallows along, so we're going to roast some marshmallows in a minute here. <laughs> and then the second thing that we're going to do, second thing that we're going to do is turn on the camping mode. So you can set your climate to camp and it will maintain a temperature all night long. So we set it for 75 degrees and you can camp in the car without worrying about carbon monoxide or any exhaust fumes. So we'll test out the camping mode and let you know how it turns out. But in the meantime, we're gonna roast some marshmallows here. Okay, light the fire, Mason. Don't get too close, because if it gets too close, you'll burn it. Just keep it down by the coals and you get a nice even. You want to rotate it and keep it down away from the flames. A nice even toast on your marshmallow here. If you get it up in the flames, it'll catch on fire. <laughs> like that, and then you got to blow on it to let the fire out. It's getting golden. Like it got a little bit of a burnt spot on the bottom, but um, rain is all burnt. <laughs> yeah, just keep rotating it. It'll be good. Only one side. Okay, let's do this. This is probably the main reason we purchased this Tesla, so we could roast marshmallows inside of it. It's a cool feature of the car. Okay, mine's getting dark. How about yours? Oh, oh I think you burned yours. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Mason, yours is on fire. <laughs> Blow it up! Oh man! Too dark. Oh no, I think mine's on fire too. Oh no, guys, blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> Stinky. Oh man, I ruined it. Oh, let me see yours. Well, I'll still eat it. I like mine. It's all crunchy. <laughs> I like mine burnt. It's like charcoal. It's like a charcoal marshmallow. I'll cook mine a little more on this back side. I like it dark. Okay. Just don't get too close to the flames or it'll catch on fire again. <laughs> oh no. All right, folks, we're roasting marshmallows inside the Tesla. We're going to enjoy this one, nice and dark, just how I like it, crispy on the outside, and nice and marshmallowy on the, the inside. Ew! Look at that. that looks good. Mm, wow. Try yours. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. All right, folks, we're going to enjoy our marshmallows and then climb in the back and camp out in our car. 
Now we're going to watch a little show before bed. We got Unsolved Mysteries playing on Netflix. You can also do YouTube, Hulu, any type of movie or TV show that you want is available here. So we're going to watch a show and crawl back in the back for bed here. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to call it a night. We got our campfire still going there. We got lots of wood on the fire, so that should get us through the night. Then we do have the temperature control on camping mode, so it should keep us warm all night long as long as the battery holds up. It says on there that it will stop keeping that temperature once the battery hits a 20% mark. So we're hoping we make it through. Mason's getting pretty tired here. We got our sleeping bag ready to go. We got our we brought in some pillows from the house. These little blow up pillows they gave us weren't quite cutting it. So we're gonna keep those just for fun. But we do have our regular pillows. Our sleeping bag, we got our jammies on. And we are ready for a nice cozy night in our Tesla Model X. So we'll see you folks in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> we survived our night in the Tesla couple things we can share with you in case you want to sleep in your Tesla or any car for that matter. It's a little sore in the morning, a little stiff. <laughs> the mattress worked out just fine. Uh, those pillows that came with the mattress, these little guys here, didn't quite do the trick. <laughs> these weren't too comfortable, but we did bring our own pillows, which made it nice. The one thing I'd recommend is the seats here. That gap between there is very skinny. So you do have to come up front and mess around with the infotainment screen once in a while. Either the heater or, I don't know, there were different things that I'll talk about that we had to do. And for me to squeeze between these on my elbows, rested on here to reach the screen, it was very sore by the morning. I think I had to come through this area about five times. So I would say I move one seat all the way forward so you have a bigger gap between here so you can get through. And a couple of the things that we noticed is it gets a little chilly even with camp mode on, but I guess you can get around that by just making the temperature extra high. We started at 70, but that got too hot. So we actually cracked the windows a little bit and then the low battery mode came on because it shuts it off once you're at 20% battery and we must have been hovering right around there. So I'd say start with the full charge and then you can go all night long. Also bring a stocking cap. We have this nice Tesla hat here, a winter hat. So I'd say get yourself something to keep your head warm. But other than that, it was pretty cozy. There's not a lot of room you can see behind me between where you sleep and the top so you can't move around too much you can roll over but then it's kind of hard that mattress is so thin it was kind of hard on your shoulders if you're a side sleeper you'd probably want a thicker mattress so not a lot of room to move around that being said if you're used to camping kind of rough camping where you don't have a lot of facilities if you have to use the bathroom you're gonna have to get out of the car if you're used to using a coffee can or something like that for go into the bathroom there's no room in here to to even sit up so that would be tough to do unless you were by yourself you could leave half of the back seat up maybe and maneuver that way but so you're gonna have to get out of the car and right behind me here are five super bright LED lights and back a little further you probably can't see them there's even more as soon as you open a door everything pops on and it's so bright your sleepy eyes will just get burned out by those lights so we found a way to again squeeze through here get to the infotainment screen and turn off all the interior lights once we turned them off we could open the doors as we needed and it wasn't blinding another thing anytime you open a door or mess around I don't know exactly when it was doing it but the headlights would pop on so I think if the car thinks you're getting in it if you're walking up to it or if you have the key fob on you and you touch the screen I think the headlights kept popping on so we found a way to turn off the headlights as well so once we got everything off we turned the heater on it worked good it kept going for about five hours before it drained the battery then it was too hot and we rolled the windows down and then I just left it off 
and then it got too cold, which is typical with camping. You need a constant temperature. So the final time we set it at 65. I had my stocking cap on. Mason was buried under the blankets and it was just fine, but it got down in the 20s last night, so it was kind of chilly. And we're a little little sore. Even Mason said his chest was a little sore in the morning. I think it's just from not being able to roll around and get comfortable as you would in a normal bed. But it was cozy. It was fun. We roasted marshmallows. We still got some left here for our breakfast. <laughs> Mason's having some marshmallows. And I guess being sore, the coolest thing with camping at your home, <laughs> we actually did this in our driveway is we have a hot tub just right around the corner over here. So we're nice and sore and we were cold through part of the night. So we're gonna go jump in the hot tub. And that's gonna feel real nice. Most camping sites don't offer a, a hot tub nearby. So that's a nice advantage for us being at home. So we're gonna go hop in that real quick. The final thing we wanna show you on the screen, it's a neat little I don't know if you'd call it an Easter egg from Tesla, but it's kind of a hidden thing that you wouldn't ever know unless you did the camping mode. After 10 minutes of having the car basically quiet, you're not doing anything, you're not touching the screen, it will switch to a type of a screen saver that shows a campsite. So if you had the campfire going or the, the romantic mode fire, and that was kind of nice, but once we left everything alone for a while, I woke up in the night and I looked and it changed the screen to a nice campfire scene. So once that turns on, we'll show that to you as well. It's the screensaver that shows up after 10 minutes. And that was kind of neat. When I woke up in the night, I looked up front at the screen here and that's what I saw. And it almost looks real at night when everything's black. It you're, looks like you're looking out your windshield at a campfire and you have a tent there camping chair with a balloon dog on it. Even those tree branches kind of move in the wind, so pretty cool. That was something I didn't know was available or that would appear, so that was kind of a fun thing to find during camping mode. Would you recommend camping, Mason? Yeah, we'll try it one more time, maybe. I wouldn't recommend it with a whole family. <laughs> there was just enough room for two. And that was a little tight as well. So I guess a final thing is if you like the videos we're making, we're having fun making them. So click like, put a comment below if you'd like to camp in your car. If you have a Tesla and you're going to try camping in it, be sure to let us know how your experience turns out as well. And we look forward to making more videos for you. So you got to go get in that hot tub. Let's look. Oh, after a long night of camping in the car. Mama. Oh, this sure feels nice. Let's blow kiss to mama. Bye bye, mom.